You may wonder why it is that so few physicians are using this knowledge if indeed it is in the medical journals. And perhaps we can go to Dr. Kelly and West again of the University of Oklahoma Medical School and quote from an article he wrote, sort of an apology, sort of a confession of his own experience with uh, a high carbohydrate, low fat diet. And this might be what you might find in thousands of other physicians' experience. It was called Diabetic Therapy and Analysis of Failure, and it was in the in, in, uh, internal medical publication called Annals of Internal Medicine. And here's what he said. He said, I was treating a diabetic with severe hypertension in 1949. He said the rice diet of Dr. Walter Kempner had three times as much carbohydrate in as the diet the diabetic was on, and yet he found that the increase of carbohydrates required no increase in insulin. He said, like many other physicians who had this experience, I was reluctant to either fully accept the implications or to follow up the findings adequately. Now, the reason for his confusion was from the time that insulin was first used in our country, the way a physician worked it out, they'd feed the diabetics a certain amount of carbohydrates, and then they give them a certain amount of insulin. And they consider one balance the other, and so they had to hold that carbohydrates just right, because the idea was that insulin taking diabetic didn't have any of their own insulin. And if you double the amount of carbohydrates, then you'd have to double the amount of insulin. Well, Dr. West was quite surprised when he tripled the carbohydrates and required no more insulin. He said, however, in 1960 again, I did study another severely diabetic patient, and after a suitable time, I doubled their carbohydrates. Again, there was no change in insulin requirement. In the process of preparing a publication of this discovery, I was surprised to find that very similar experiments had been done before 1935 by Hemsworth with the same results. Over and over again, this phenomenon had been rediscovered and subsequently forgotten or disregarded. What a confession for a man to make who is an international authority in diabetes to say that he himself had discovered the idea that high carbohydrate diets are better for, car for diabetics than the conventional high fat diet and yet he sort of pushed it aside when he first discovered it, and now he's going to write it up and tell the world about it. He was embarrassed to find it was done in 1935. And yet he continues, yet most Western physicians, dietitians, and their patients still believe that limiting dietary carbohydrates is the main reason of diet therapy. But history has shown that it's extremely difficult for physicians, dietitians, and patients to give up the notion that carbohydrates are bad for people with too much sugar in their blood. Although as Dr. West has rediscovered the principle of returning most diabetics to normal, Dr. Anderson has confirmed it in his recently published studies. The American Diabetic Association finally in December 79 made their first good commitment. It's going to take a little time before the rest of the country catches up. But you're far ahead and that you know what to do right now.